what is good youtube it is your boy limitless mike i am back up in this thing i'm back i'm here and you know i just had a question it just popped up in my brain looking just looking at races and thinking i'm like hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on who is the greatest 400 meter hurdler of all time because i feel like it's not as easy it's not as clear cut as you would think you know track it's binary it's wins losses it's numbers it's very you can tell this person ran this and that's better than that and in a lot of races in a lot of events it's like that but in this one i don't think it's so clear cut so i'm gonna break it down right now for me i got these three gentlemen boom we got k k young right there boom in the middle we got you you better know who that boy is we got warholm and then to our far right hold on to our far right who <laughs> we got the we got the original and that is mr ed moses edwin moses now i'm gonna give you a little breakdown on what these boys have done in their careers um their times all that and i'll let you decide and i'll also at the end i'll say who i think overall is the go at the 400 meter or hurdles because once again it's not as clear cut as you would think so let's get into it now we'll start off i'm gonna i'm gonna start off with the boy edwin moses a dog the man now depending on your age this guy he's just a name on the paper he's just literally a name in the stat sheet depending on how old you are but he is a dog he really did it and set the pinnacle he has one of the longest win streaks in sports history i believe it actually may be the longest win streak in sports history now like i said he was doing it back in the day we in 2021 and his reign and it is a reign give him a crown was from 1977 to 1987 during this time he broke the world record in the 400 meter hurdles three times he was a two-time Olympic champion, a two-time world champion, and a one-time Olympic bronze medalist. And even during that time, he missed an Olympics because the U.S. protested and didn't want to compete um, at, at that Olympic Games. His time, his PR was a 47.02, um, and he originally broke the world record at a, in a time of 47.45. But then he was able to break it again, getting that time down to 4702. Now, all that's great, all that's dandy, but we really gotta bring it back. He won 122 straight races over 10 years. 122. That includes the prelims, that includes the finals, that included the Olympics, that included the world championships, that includes everything. Now, I don't know many streaks. I don't know. Well, think of something that you've done 122 times in a row successfully, whether that's go to the gym, whether that's eat healthy, whether that's, I don't know. Think about it. 122 wins in a row over 10 years. Now, there was someone, my guy's name, what, what was my boy's name? His name was Danny Harris. He was 21 and Moses was 31 when the streak ended. He he beat him. And that that wasn't the decline, but you know, that's where things kind of tapered down. From there, Moses would go on and he won more races. Uh, but the following following year uh, is when he got that bronze and basically retired after that. He retired essentially on top. It wasn't that storybook ending of Hey, I got the gold medal. He already had two gold medals, and it wasn't that, hey, I got the gold medal, but he retired pretty much on top by getting that bronze medal um, at the Olympics. So once again, 122 straight wins, and the official day count of wins was nine years, nine months, and nine days. Really think about that. Nine years, nine months, nine days just perfect poetry in motion now i'm gonna break one other thing down the secret to edwin moses it's so poetic that his streak was nine months or nine years nine months and nine days because his real secret 
was his stride. Now, Edwin was self-coached. Like, he was a he was extremely intelligent. He was basically an academic or kind of a scientist. Uh, and he brought that into track and field. Now, when I say that he was a scientist, like up until up until like his late collegiate years, he he took track seriously, but he wasn't always the best and he always didn't take it extremely serious. Like he was much more of an academic. Um, so through his process, he really studied track. Now, let me get back to the point. He was a 13 stepper. And this was at a time where not everyone could 13 step between every hurdle or they weren't. And if they could, they couldn't hold it the whole way. Now, he figured out that to 13 step, it was nine feet and nine inches. And he was able to do that. It was your stride length had to be nine feet and nine inches. And he was able to do that repetitively over all the hurdles so he 13 stepped the whole race and no one ever could no one else could do that that was his key to success it was just nine 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 by nine is going to be my 13 steps and then my streak went nine years nine months and nine days so that was just kind of poetry in motion or ironic because he even broke it down it's just it's just weird how things go but that's edwin moses he might be the best to ever do it now let's keep going up next we got kevin young now the boy kevin young he was doing it in the 90s you know he he was definitely the boy in the 90s he had some great years now he is the 1992 olympic champion and the 1993 world champion He's from California. He went to the same school as Flojo. So they got a, a deep track history at that school, Jordan High School, um, as well as he ran at UCLA. He started off as a walk on. I'm not exactly sure why, if it was due to academics or they already, you know, had all their scholarships taken. But he started off as a walk on. And in that first year, he got fifth at Pac-10 at the Pac-10 championships. That's what it was at the time. You know, he goes on, he goes pro once again, 1993 at the Summer Olympics. He he's the champion and he sets a world record in a time of forty six point seven eight seconds. Now, one thing he was running, he was waving that arm. He didn't even run all the way through the line. He was waving that arm. He was on low key doing a Usain Bolt. He probably inspired Usain Bolt because that arm was up. He did not power through, and he still had the forty six point seven eight um, as well. As he was the first guy, he is the bar. He was the first man to ever break forty seven seconds, and that record from ninety two that lasted all the way until twenty twenty one. Nobody was able to touch it. Nobody was able to get after it. Now, Kevin Young, he didn't have the same streak that uh, Moses went on, had. Like, Kevin Young, he really had an extremely strong 1992 and extremely strong 1993. But, you know, injuries and kind of life got to him. So, he never really, he didn't keep a streak going. He didn't have a, a huge win streak or anything like that. But, he was the first man. He... He was the first guy to ever break 47 seconds. He's definitely was the standard at least. And, you know, it, it took a long time. And what he did was amazing, especially for the 90s. Like his record was broken. There's been a lot of technology, technological advances since he did his thing. Um, and, you know, he was doing it back in the 90s. So that's Kevin Young. He. he and next we got the boy the 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 dog the 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 new olympic record holder world record holder we got mr karsten warholm now warholm he is the 2017 world champion the 2019 world champion and if you've been living under a rock or you just didn't know he's also the 2021 olympic champion his current win streak is at three seasons and i believe it is 21 consecutive races so it's definitely not up there with edwin moses but that boy ain't lost to nobody in any race in at least three seasons also he 
is the world record holder. He holds a time of 45.94. He's the first man. Listen, hold on. Let me let me say that again. His 400 meter time is 45.94. He broke the 46 barrier, which doesn't even seem possible or realistic. But this guy did it prior to that prior to his 45.94 in his first race of the 2021 season he went out there and he ran a 4670 that was the world record he broke the world record in his first race of the season at 4670 and then came back trained came back to the olympics and ran a 45.94 now this is in 2021 so there's they're on a brand new track. Uh, the spikes are different. Like everything's different. Even the the supplements that we can take now in 2021 are different. So that might give a slight edge over you know what Kevin Young was able to do as well as Edwin Moses. But this man is the first man to ever break 46 seconds. He went up 45.94. If you're a 400 meter runner, like. The 46 barrier is the difference between boys and men. It's the difference between your your decent runner collegiately or high school versus, hey, he's one of those ones. He's one of the guys. It's not going to win a lot of races. It's not going to be winning pro races, etc. But I feel like the 46 second barrier for the open four is a big thing. And this guy did it with 10 hurdles on the track. Amazing simply amazing personally i feel like he runs a lot similar to edwin moses like edwin moses he just went he just got out of the blocks basically first he caught the person outside of him and he just went like he didn't sit or this or that or have a first 200 be slow and the last 200 be fast that boy just got out of the blocks and went and I feel like Warholm does the same thing. He's the first to the first hurdle, and he's going to lead the whole way. And that's how he was able to get that world record over Ryan Benjamin. Now, let's get to it. Who first? I want to know. Leave it in the comments for me, especially if you're at this point of the video. Put it down in the comments. Who's your go? Is it based on age? Like who you got to watch run more? Who you ran against? Um, or who do you think is the GOAT? Is it Kevin Young? Because he was a dog. He doesn't have the world, world record anymore, but he had it for 29 years. Is it Warholm? He has the world record now. Is it Edwin Moses? He got the streak. Like, who do you think is the, the best ever? Because me, here it comes. Here it comes. I think it's Edwin Moses. I think Edwin Moses, I know he doesn't have the record anymore. I know that he had a, a low 47 while Warholm has a 45. But to me, I think it's Edwin Moses because he was he he coached himself. He didn't even have a coach. He just figured everything out himself. He was doing it in the 70s. And I really feel like the technology, the coaching and all that, like if he had the spikes that we have and if he ran on a track like we run on i think he would a lot ran a lot faster and that streak that streak of no losses is just simply amazing i've never seen anything like that and i don't think anyone has so to me again i'm gonna go edwin moses is the goat of the 400 meter hurdles warholm is uh, you know, he just needs to get a couple more wins under his belt and he'll take the title like he will never get up to the, the streak that Edwin Moses got up to. But if he can put together another undefeated season or two, I think I would have to give it to him um, or if he breaks another record, like I would have to give it to him. But to me, I just feel like Moses, the amount of races and wins and we taking no L's if you know Sauce Walker put that in there edwin moses we taking no else i gotta give it to him and then warholm is second best of all time and then i'm gonna go kevin young is third best of all time and then we'll start getting into the rye benjamins the dos santos i know they both have times that are faster than kevin young's but because of that guy 
they don't have the wins that Kevin Young has. So I can't put them over Kevin Young, um, you know, just because they simply don't have the medals and the wins. But that's it for your boy. That Those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments. And I'm going to show you one thing. I got to plug something in here real quick. So if you made it to this far in the video, I freaking love you. I salute you. I hope you're subscribed to the channel. And I just want to show you something real quick. I run a brand or I'm part of a brand as well, all sportswear based. We got some new pieces. We got the sweater. Let's bring it in. Boom, Limitless Athletics. Just something to keep you cozy depending on where you live. Where I live, it'd be cold and rainy, so I gotta stay cozy. As well as the hoodie. Another Limitless Athletics. Ooh, icy, icy. I'm gonna show y'all something else. Got the shorts. Ooh. I don't know if you can see them. As well as the pants. These are pants. These are so comfortable, so stretchy. Uh, they just feel amazing. So these are some of the things that I do outside of just working and you know trying to start a YouTube and all of that. So check it out. I'm gonna leave all my info in my bio or put it on the video or something, but if you made it this far, just check that out. I would love, you know, I would love for you to become part of the family. But other than that, I hope you have a blessed day. Take it easy. Once again, to me, Ed, Eddie Moses, Edwin is the GOAT. Warholm is second for now. And Kevin Young is third. Other than that, stay blessed. Peace.